Hello and welcome to the channel. This is Meredith and today I have a mail Monday for you. Hopefully it'll be up on a Monday, but we'll see. Um, no promises. Um, but basically what I do on this particular video series is I show either things that I bought this week or else I got sent to me free for review or things like that. Anything that hit my PO box or my actual home address, I'll let you know what I got. Um, so if this is interesting to you, I have a bunch of products in here, some home products. I also went thrift store shopping, so see what I got in the thrift store. And then I also have a couple of Amazon purchases. I try not to purchase on Amazon too much but sometimes there are certain things that you just have to go to Amazon for um, just because I don't know where else to find the things. So yeah anyway if you are interested at all in any of these products that I have in the video I'll try to link below so you can see any reviews and things like that because obviously I haven't had a chance to try any of these products out so again they'll be linked below. The first few packages are all going to be from Amazon. I made only one order but for some reason they all ship separately um, from different warehouses actually of it. So let me just open the first item here. This is like one of those things that I had to buy on Amazon just because I legitimately don't know where else to buy it. Um, so I was actually watching Laura DIY's um, vlog series and she bought one of these stampers and I like kind of forgot they existed because I think I had one in Korea. Um, just basically I'm super paranoid about people stealing my address and things like that. Um, but basically this obscures the address label or anything else that is confidential. You can just like stamp it over. So um, I can try to like put a link below for this because I think it's actually quite useful especially if you're like living in like an apartment situation or something like that. Um, the reason why I did it in Korea is that sometimes there were like I don't know how like accurately portrayed these are but there were like instances where people were like basically men were going through the trash and like finding um, any packages with addresses on it. I think this is like one of those scare tactics from the news actually but basically they were like trying to ascertain who was a female living alone in that apartment complex so basically I always had to like scribble out my address and like tear things up. It was like very paranoid but it is what it is um, but yeah basically this dries um, onto the thing and it obscures all of the info so I'm very excited for this this is also like the cheapest option on Amazon there were like tons of options actually but since I wasn't sure how well this would work I chose the cheapest option it is also refillable and things like that um, so this is also something that I had to buy on Amazon so I have a tripod I don't know where it came from it's been in my apartment the entire time I've been living here I think somebody like honestly just forgot it in the corner <laughs> in my other room so free tripod which is great because um tripods are expensive so anyway I haven't been able to use it because it's always been missing this um release quick release tray I don't even know what the actual word of it is so I had to measure it and basically the tripod that I found they don't make it anymore so I had to go on Amazon because there was no other place to buy it um, but I have this and hopefully I'll be able to use my other tripod eventually because my current situation is a little bit uh, rickety here that's all I gotta say about that so I have another Amazon package oh, okay so I was like what the heck is this um, so basically I ran out of the toothbrush head replacements for my Sonicare and then my Sonicare is so old that basically they don't make the appropriate heads anymore. I looked at Target, I looked at CVS, and I looked at Rite Aid. Um, I guess I could have gone to Duane Reed but when I couldn't find it there I had to go to Amazon so I couldn't find the Philips brand so I had to get like one of these fake brands. Um, so it's six brush heads. Um, I'm just going to use this until like basically that um, toothbrush breaks because I think it's about time. It's pretty old. Um, but yeah, it's going to just be this. I need a new toothbrush heads because basically toothbrush needs to be replaced. I think this is, yeah, I think this is the final thing from Amazon. So let me open it. This is like also very boring. All of these um, Amazon purchases were just like very boring things. So basically this I could have bought other places, but since I was already making an order, I decided to just buy it from Amazon. Okay, so what I ended up buying are some replacements for the strips for command strips. Um, so did you know that if you have them hanging up for long enough, sometimes the adhesives like dry out? Because I didn't know that until to like basically this week or the week before. Yeah, this week actually, early in the week, everything just started falling down from the walls in my kitchen just because I've been hanging up the um, these small ones here. I've had these small ones here hung up for so long, they just got dry. So it like got dry and like yellowed, I guess. So it kind of like, when it, when it fell off, it kind of felt like 
on the back of a postage stamp that you had to lick like back in the old days so um yeah very boring but i ended up purchasing this one because i had a various assorted sizes um and i have various assorted sizes i'm looking at my apartment here because i have a bunch of things hanging up that i think i'm going to have to either be fixing before they fall down or fix as they fall down because yeah anyway um i bought these they were a pretty good price actually i think they were like three or four dollars when I went into Target yesterday they did have replacements but they weren't a variety pack like this for the same price I think the variety pack at Target was like ten dollars but it was a lot more I don't need that many because the issue was that the um strips for this small guy here there were like 30 or 40 of them in the box when I bought them but they all dried out obviously at the same time so uh, I just need like a small amount so very boring but very adult purchases here the next item here is from Allure Beauty Box. So basically what had happened was if you followed along back in January, I did renew my subscription, but I think they put me in as a new member. So I had a bunch of things that were repeats. So I contacted Allure Beauty Box to see if they could update my subscription and things like that. And then they offered to send me replacements for the repeats. So this is um, one of the replacements for the repeats. Before I open this, I do pay for my Allure Beauty Box. So just <laughs> that is upfront and everything. So far I've paid for everything that I'm unboxing right now. Okay, so this is the replacement for the repeat. So I got the Christoph Robin hair cream again, the daily sandalwood hair cream. Um, so basically my review of that, it's not my favorite just because it's very masculine sided of the scent profile. I don't know how to make that, uh, I don't wanna assign like a sex to it, but it is very like um, spicy. Um, so it's not my favorite. I think it's also like somewhat drying out my hair, which is like the opposite of what it's supposed to do. Um, but it could just be that it's like super dry in my apartment. This is the Christoph Robin Hydrating Leave-In Mist with Aloe Vera. It's 150 mLs or five is fluid ounces. It is for dehydrated and dull hair. So that sounds like my hair. Um, let's see what else. It's a lightweight leave-in conditioning mist composed of 97% natural origin ingredients, detangles and restores the appearance of dry, dull hair with hydration so it's visibly more healthy, smooth, and moisturized to the touch. Ideal for refreshing your look in between washes. After application, hair feels more supple and manageable with a noticeable shine and luminosity. Wow, that was a very long sentence. <laughs> Aloe vera provides a feeling of hydration while moisture binding nutrients help to tangle and reduce flyaways. Flax seed, a super seed extract, helps illuminate. After the hydrating shampoo and mask, apply on damp hair misting the roots and length. Shake before use. Um, so it does have fragrance in here. It doesn't seem to have like as intense of a scent because I don't smell it right now. Yeah, I don't smell it. So the hair cream, even though it had a lid and a seal on it, I could still smell it when I opened the box. Um, so I'm very excited by this. This is made in the UK. I think a couple of other people commented on my video that they also got repeats. Um, so hopefully you were able to settle it up with the BoxyCharm group, not BoxyCharm, Boxy Allure Box. Allure Beauty Box, that's the name. Uh, hopefully you were able to settle it up with them. Um, if you didn't have any luck with them, try again. Go to beautybox.allure.com and then they should usually reply right away. Yeah, it doesn't really have much of a scent. So um, actually, let me grab something to spray this onto. So I'm going to use this really snazzy bag that it came out of, the bubble wrap mailer. So let me open it. I'm gonna just try to spray it in here. I just wanted to see how like misty it is or if it's like clumpy or something. Oh, it's like super light mist. Yeah, so the scent still pulls slightly masculine to me. Like it's not a fragrance, like a floral fragrance or anything. It's kind of like, like herbal. I don't know how to describe it. So I did put the cream on the ends of my hair this morning. So it's maybe a slightly like that. So it's kind of like also the mist smells kind of like spicy, but also like somewhat like, what is that called? Like um citronella, like the mosquito repellent candles that you use in barbecues. Um, I mean, I'm still going to use it, obviously, but uh, yeah, it's not my number one choice. That's all I got to say. So similarly, they sent another one because I did have multiple repeats. They said they were going to send me three um, replacements, but I was like, actually, it's okay. <laughs> um, because there was um, also another repeat and they were like, well, I'll send you the almond oil from L'Occitane. And I was like, actually, it's okay. I don't need that because I'm allergic to almond oil. So I think they did not send it, hopefully, um, just so I don't have to have it. But um, the one product, oh, I was so excited when they said they were sending this because I didn't ask for this, but this is a product that I skipped the original month. And then this was a free 
new member gift I think for November and since I wasn't a new member it was like they wouldn't have got sent it to me anyway this is from Shawnee Darden it is a best of beauty allure 2020 award winner and this is the retinol reform and it is to smooth fine lines firm and brighten is one fluid ounce or 30 mls the retinol reform has become the go-to serum my clients swear by it's clinically proven to address multiple anti-aging concerns from the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles to uneven texture dullness and even loss of firmness Utilizing a time-release encapsulated retinol, this formula delivers a consistent stream of retinol throughout the night to minimize irritation often experienced with retinol products. It also contains an AHA, which helps to brighten and smooth skin so you get both immediate results, sorry, immediate benefits and long-term results. It's an essential treatment for glowing, youthful-looking skin. And this is made in the U.S. And good for 12 months after opening. It's cruelty-free and vegan. Um, but definitely make sure you wear sunscreen. It says in the evening, smooth one to two pumps onto clean skin. Start with one to two nights a week. Add a night each week, building up as to, no. <laughs> Add a night each week, building up to as often as your skin can tolerate follow with moisturizer. I don't know why that was so hard to read. Um, so let me open the box. By the way, the reason why I open it on the bottom is that I like to take photos of the things I get. And um, usually the top has like, stickers on it so if I open it from the bottom it doesn't disrupt the box as much so it comes in a glass jar it's pretty heavy glass actually but yeah it looks pretty nice and let me show you the pump so this is what the pump looks like it's just a typical pump so I'm very excited for this um, I do have quite a few retinol products open sorry I'm glancing over there because I'm just checking my uh you know my facts over there um, but yeah it I do have quite a few open right now but um, I will definitely put this into the rotation I actually don't have that many products. Um, I went through my serum drawer because I have a lot of serums, but they're all for like hydrating and things like that. They're not so much for resurfacing or um, fine lines. I think I have quite a few um, hydrating and then things for like anti-aging. But anyway, this one is like a cross between like the resurfacing with the AHA and then also the um, fine lines and things. So the next item here, I do need the little stamp here. The next item is um, I'm not entirely sure what this is from. It says this from Kiss Nail Products. I am not expecting anything from Kiss Nail Products, which is actually kind of funny because I was Googling this like maybe a week ago and I didn't buy anything. So when I saw this in my PO box, I was like kind of confused. And I don't think I bought anything. It could have been like I accidentally clicked because you know how like sometimes websites have like click here once and then it'll be um, good to go. Okay, so actually this says it's from Kiss Nail Products. It is not. This is from Joa. So maybe they're owned by similar companies or like something like that. Because I know Kiss is owned by like a Korean American. And I think Joa is also owned by a Korean American. Um, but anyway, this um, Joa products are available at drugstores. I've seen them at CVS and things like that. But this is the toner pads. And it says it has Centella Asiatica and Willow Bark Extract. Dermatologist tested. It has 50 pads in here and it is the Heal Me Sika. So I was sent this free for review from Octoly, so I'm gonna definitely give it a go and then follow up with you and things like that. So if you are interested in how I feel about any of these products, I typically do a review a little bit more than I first impressions um, at the end of each month where I tell you a little bit after I have used the products for a couple of weeks and things like that. Um, so I think it is owned by the same company because it does say it's Kiss products in here. It's made in Korea, designed in US, so it must be owned by the same company. Um, so basically Kiss has um, a lot of these stick-on nails, so that's what I was looking for. I was trying to figure out if I could do that at home, but I feel like my nails are just weird shape. Anyway, <laughs> let me just keep going. It's cruelty-free, good for three months after opening, so you gotta use these pretty quickly. Um, so there are 50 pads, so I guess it's about one a night, three months. No, three months would be 90. So this is maybe like a month and a half worth of products in here. And it does not appear to have any scent added. So let me try to get this open for you. No, I'll try to get this in focus, not open. Um, so basically it does have like an open date on here where you can just fill in the info, which is great. I usually write on things like when I open them just so that I don't keep using products because I have so many to go through. So let me open it. It does have a seal, so um, I'm going to use it tonight so I can write my review after a week or so. Okay, so it is not scented at all. It has like um, somewhat exfoliating texture pads in there. Um, so it's kind of similar to, I guess, 
I'm looking over there. I'm trying to remember the name. The Exuvians ones, I think. The Exuvians ones are somewhat more textured. I will send those also free for review. They're not my favorite, if I'm being honest. The Exuvians ones, they have like um. A cucumber melon scent like Bath and Body Works circa like 1996 smell to me so if you like that smell those Exuvia's pads are maybe for you um, so I'm gonna definitely give this a go and I'll let you know what I think about it but this one is actually funny so I kept this in here um, it's from my dad okay sorry I had to cover up some other official information in here um, but basically what had happened was I don't have a calendar right now and I like having like a paper calendar um, but I've tried to find a paper calendar for less than $20 and I just can't find one anywhere. Uh, I know I used to buy them at the dollar store, but there's like no dollar store by me. Anyway, so I was talking to my dad one night and he's like, oh, actually we have a bunch at home. I'll just send you one. So he sent me one and the issue is, is like, I'm scared of a lot of animals, so I don't want to have them on here. So he like flipped through the animal one because my mom gives a lot of donations to National Wildlife Fund. Um, so they always send her a bunch of calendars, but those had like, um, I think it was like a shark in it and like I'm fine with sharks but like I'm very scared of whales so anyway my dad must have found one he says Meredith here's an animal free calendar <laughs> dad um so yeah it has like um I think we got this from our financial advisor so that's why I had to cover up the info in here um but it is like just a basic calendar here's a central park for you um but yeah definitely going to use this thanks dad Okay, the next item here is from Dr. Zenobia. So Dr. Zenobia is really great. They send me PR every month to share with you. Um, so the reason why I say that is because I have gotten a lot of their products and I've been really liking them, but I just only have one face. Um, so I like to share them with people. So some of the products that I received in the past, I'm actually giving to my friend just because um, I'm not hitting a milestone anytime shortly on this channel. So I just want to make sure that the products don't go to waste. And she is like super thrilled to get some moisturizers because she also loves moisturizers like I do. Um, so let me open this. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Okay, so this month they sent over a couple of products that I actually already have um, duplicates of. So again, I'm going to see if my friend wants them. This one here is the Aloe Vera Blemish Soothing Moisturizer. I love this product actually. Um, so actually I might keep it because I just ran out of my other one. Um, but this one is for the Clear Complexion line. Um, so in the past I used to use a lot of like acne products. And they really dried out of my skin so I was a little bit worried about using this but um it is very moisturizing somehow um, but it also prevents a lot of the issues that I have with um, my pimples and things so you, it does come in like the acne kit so um, I do have the acne kit over there I'm pointing over there like you can see it you can't um, but I do have it in my acne kit over there as well they sent it over it's a three I actually have one here so this is the kit that they sent last month um, but it has like an acne cleanser I have that in my shower uh, a benzoyl peroxide acne spot treatment I have that open over there and then it also has the small size of the blemish soothing moisturizer so out of all of the products in this clear complexion line I probably would purchase a full size of the soothing moisturizer so this thing here since I don't break out that much I don't really need the full size acne um, what's it called cleanser or the spot treatment um, so the um, travel size is great for me um, but I would say it's a great way to try out to see if it works for your skin and things like that that was a long-winded way of saying I'm very excited that I have a replacement of this. I'll look through my um, storage over here to see if I actually have another full size because, as I mentioned, I really like this, especially around um, my monthly cycle. When I start breaking out hormonally, I do like to have this. The final item in here is from the Essentials line. This is the Hyaluronic Acid and Peptides Serum. So I do think I have one in my drawer system over there, so I'm going to check it again, and I'm going to see maybe if my friend would be interested in the Hyaluronic acid serum um i think she might be breastfeeding so i'm not entirely sure i'll have to ask her um if she wants it or not um but i have tried it in the past and i thought it was pretty good actually um i do like that it's a combination of hyaluronic acid and peptides not just hyaluronic acid solely because um honestly it's a lot of work to put on so many layers and things like that so whenever i can double up it's really nice um, so the next item here is a PSA. This is not something I purchased, and it's not like it was sent to me free for review, but if you are an American, you can find, oh, there's a hair there, you can find these N95 masks at your local pharmacy. So I picked mine up at the Rite Aid. Um, basically, you get three of the N95 masks per household. Um, so that is the PSA today for you. Um, basically, if you can't 
if it's not like very obvious where it is um, I asked my friends and my family where they got theirs so when I went I thought it was gonna be at the pharmacy the pharmacy had no idea what I was talking about until the older pharmacist in the back was like oh it's at the front desk so I had to ask at the front desk at Rite Aid again it's very much a place by place sort of thing because then my sister went to hers and hers was on a folding table by like the produce section which was like very strange for her and then my parents have not been able to find theirs quite yet I think they asked at the CVS at Target and they also asked at the CVS and they haven't been able to find it yet but I was able to find it um, the front desk people weren't totally sure what to do so they just handed me this bag um, I don't know if they were supposed to hand me the bag full of them but they did um, I did get three so I had thought that they handed me like four because it was hard to count but uh, it is three and that was the final three in the box okay so this is very heavy so basically in here is the most exciting thing I purchased this week so hold on okay so I unloaded everything that was a very heavy bag I can't believe I walked around with that for like three miles yesterday but I did um, so anyway if you follow along with me on my vlog series you know that every once in a while when I go check my mail I pop into the housing works on Columbus I can't remember the cross street. It's on Columbus and I think like 76, it was either 76 or 86. I'm trying to remember if it was like before I get to the museum or after I get to the museum. That particular location has a lot of great products in there. They also sell furniture. So if you do just move to the city and you want some furniture and are okay with pre-owned stuff, they have a bunch of great stuff there and really good prices. Um, anyway, yesterday when I went in, they had like stocked up everything, which was super cool. Um, they had a bunch of like floor samples from a lot of designers. Um, they have a bunch of books all the time, a bunch of furniture yesterday. I think a lot of people were moving because it is like the first week of the month and things like that. Uh, so anyway, the dish section in the back, they have a bunch of dishes and like dishware, home goods and things like that. So what I ended up purchasing were some bowls. So, so let me unwrap them from the, I was gonna say parchment paper at the newspaper. Okay, so one of them got a little bit chipped in transit, but that's fine. Um, but basically I bought some, <laughs> these two bowls. Um, so they had a bunch of these bowls. These are from Pottery Barn. They're the Sausalito line, I guess. I looked it up online and I couldn't find this brand, not this brand, the line, the product line. So I think it must have been discontinued, but they had a bunch of them and they're huge. They're like, I think they're probably like quote unquote cereal bowls, um, but they were $4 each. Um, they had these two, they had two white ones and then they had two like burnt red ones. Um, so anyway, I bought the beige ones, which I thought was a great deal. I did a little bit of price comparison when I was in there on my phone and I think that these bowls typically go for like $30 um, so $4 each was a great deal. I'm a little bit bummed that this one got chipped but that is on me from walking around so much with them. Okay so then I have four final bowls here. So these I'm only going to unwrap these two but um, basically these are all of the same look so they're all from cb2 i couldn't find these online either but i think cb2 bowls typically go for like ten dollars i think um for a pair maybe 16 i don't know um but yeah these were three dollars each and they were really nice sized as well um i really like the textures here so this one is like kind of matte unfinished on the bottom and then kind of like lays on the top and it has like the um inside is glazed and like somewhat reactive i guess um, so these were $3 each, which I thought was a great deal. So I picked up four. They had about 12 of them. There were also matching plates. But honestly, the reason why I buy so many bowls is that I realized that like when I was doing my dishes last week that all I use to eat are bowls. So um, it's nice to have extras. Also, I'm trying to work on like trying to cook more at home and like photographing my food at home. So if I had more attractive bowls, I feel like that would be a better thing. I'm also like somewhat trying to move out of like my typical dishware that I use is like from college. So that was like from 2007. Um, and it was like bought on clearance when it was in 2007. So I'm like obviously missing some from time to time from like how many moves I've made. Um, a little bit of has gone each time. I like lost one, one uh, cup, I lost one plate, things like that. Um, so I am trying to change up my style a little bit, but anyway, I thought those were great prices So I ended up buying four of the three dollar bowls from CB2 and two of the four dollar bowls from Pottery Barn. So do the math 
because I think I paid only like 1918 because I remember thinking that's a weird year but yeah I think that uh, something went wrong so I didn't realize that until I left aka right now and this is like a day and a half later um, but yeah that is everything that I bought this week or was sent to review um, actually I don't think I was sent that many things to review the only thing I am supposed to review is the Joa um, toner pads which I definitely will um, everything else was like just sent to me or else I purchased it myself or took advantage of a great government program. Oh, so also the reason why I got these is because I might be traveling and I don't know where I'm traveling. So personally, if it's like somewhat southern of where I am, I would rather just have the N95 on. So that is everything I have for you. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you think about the things that I have. Also, let me know if there's like any of those things that you like never think you need until you need it and you can only buy it on Amazon because I feel like that is like where I end up purchasing on Amazon just because I'd like rather have it in my hands right away when I need it. Um, but yeah, I do have a lot of other content that will hopefully be coming out sometime in the future. Um, I'm not committing on the date just because editing takes me a very long time and work is crazy right now. Um, but yeah, eventually stuff will be coming, including like the series about looking for apartments in New York. It's very outdated at this point, but like the concepts are the same. Um, and then also I have um, spoiler videos that I'm going to hopefully be able to put up eventually. Um, so I think Ultra will be coming out with their spoilers in the next week or so. Um, so that'll be great. And yeah, I'll try to keep it short and sweet. So yeah, talk to you later.